Hello guys, this is Aniket Kumar Singh and I am right over here with Anit and Aims Career, right? So this is the particular uh, video which I am making for a very good chapter so called Anatomy and Flowering Plants. So, uh, without wasting time, just directly start with it. Okay, I will be covering as usual the 30 years questions in the, my this video and giving it to you. But I think my learning is a little different. I didn't read the NCERT or the NCERT sequence. Right, it's my uh, uh, habit. It's जो मुझे topic अच्छा लगता है मैं पहले वो cover करता हूँ. And later on I'll be covering all your major topics जो छूट रहे हैं. That is something. I'll uh, cover the main the tissue system that is the master of this particular chapter. And the uh, secondary growth. For me that's two are very important. और जो first topic है ना जो xylem, phloem, cells and all I'll be covering in my next video. Okay. So let's directly start with it. Okay. So anatomy, remember बच्चे anatomy is something which is called as the study of internal organs. Anatomy is it? It and हमेशा देखना तुम्हें histology करके एक चीज होती है उससे confuse नहीं होना. Anatomy and histology are totally different. Anatomy is the study of internal organ, whereas the tissue system or the tissues are something which is the study of your so called uh, uh, histology is the study of so called tissues. Okay. हमेशा बच्चे याद रखोगे. There was a person who I'm directly starting with so called tissue system. Okay, uh, tissue system, I think it's going to be very important for you to understand what is tissue system is. I mean, you know, tissue system should look at as a well, tissues, you know, what's the idea? Tissues, okay, most of you confused on this. Tissues are something which we call it as to the group of cells. Sabko pata hai this? Group of cells. All know this, the tissues are group of cells. NCERT example says that the tissues are group of cells with cells. The cells which are similar in function, that perform similar function, are functioning on an organ of same side or at same structure. NCERT example, the group of cells that are performing similar functions, the group of cells which are having same structure and the group of cells which are in similar or of same origin, which are of same origin. You have to remember this. Function same होना चाहिए, structure same होना चाहिए, जिस पे वो act कर रहे हैं, और उनका origin same होना चाहिए. These type of cells are called tissues. समझ आ रही है बात? ये सब नहीं हो, nine standard definition सब नहीं रहती है. Eleven standard definition थोड़ी modified है. Right? So just remember this. Okay. So then other than this, remember बच्चे, tissue system was something which was given by a very famous person, von Sachs. Von Sachs was something which we call it as to be a German scientist. Okay, Von Sachs was a German scientist. On the basis of three things that you have to remember, uh, I guess three things which is called as morphology, morphology, position, morphology, position, and the structure. On the basis of the morphology, position, and the structure, okay, of particular these three things. That tissue system was classified or was told to be of three types. The complete of the tissue system was told to be of three types. One is the tissue system which is called as, the very first one is something which we call it as to be the dermal tissue system. Hamesha yaad hai the dermal tissue system bholne se matlab yaad hai ki something which is covering or something which is protecting, right? Hamesha yaad hai na, it's being seen since evolution that Whatever is protective or whatever is covering is something which is the topper layer, so as to give the fine most protection, right? So that's the reason the dermal tissue system was something which was later on renamed as epidermal system. Okay, so बच्चे याद रखना it's going to be very simple. Uh, epidermal system. Okay, this is one thing. Other than this, uh, what you have to remember is uh, the second type of tissue which is called as ground tissue system. The ground tissue system. Other than this, the vascular tissue system. VTS, GTS, EDTS. Okay, it's very simple. You have to remember. They go, but epidermal tissue system is something which is made up of. I'll give you as a comparison. Okay, which is something which is made up of parenchyma cells. This is something which is made up of parenchyma cell. Ground tissue system is something which is made up of mesophyll cell. NCERT example, NCERT practical. You have to remember this point. The question came in AIMS 2017. The ground tissue system is something which is made up of mesophyll tissue cells. Okay. Other than this, the vascular tissue system is something again made up of parenchyma cells. There is no difference. Okay. Parenchyma and sometimes colon chyma kind of cells. 
Okay, the cells, the cells over here is going to say epidermal tissue system is something which we call it as to be the protective tissue system. It is called as to be the protective tissue system, whereas your so-called um, ground tissue system is sometimes which we call it as to be very 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 important the largest tissue system. Me question the boy, which is yeah, that is it. In 2019, uh, day 25, May, I guess, right? Shift 2. The ground tissue system is something which is made up of the largest tissue system. Uh, sorry, it is something which we call it as to be the largest tissue system. And, why we call it as to be the largest tissue system? Jovi tissues are other than epidermal and vascular tissue. Jitne bhi bache tissue hai, sare is tissue system se nikalte hai. Hamesha to isle yaad rakho ke, dekhe? All the ground tissue system is something, ground tissue system is something that gives rise to all the tissues other than epidermal tissue and vascular tissue. Okay? Uh, this is, that's why it is called as the largest, since it is giving rise to other, all other tissues, that's the reason it is sometimes also called as uh, your mother tissue or the fundamental tissue, NCERT liner, the fundamental tissue is something which is called as the ground tissue. Okay, that's one thing. The vascular tissue system ka beta koi dusra naam to nahi hai so called. Okay, but it is something which we call it as to be the specific tissue system. Sometimes it is called as the specific tissue system. Why? Because it is something which is, I'll tell you, ignorant. It is something which is, you know, a bit different. Ek thode na roh pata tha. Okay, epidermal tissue system is something which is going to be protective. Ye protection jo hota hai na, is something that prevents the loss and sometimes aids to the loss. Okay, just see the difference. The epidermal tissue system ke do projections hota hai and that you have to remember. The epidermal tissue system ke do projections hota hai. Remember one is called as the trichomes. Other than this you have to remember one is called as the root hairs. In layman terms, shoot hairs, root hairs. That's all question here, okay? Uh, I'll prove this why root hairs are the, uh, you know, uh, so-called extension of epidermal while we're teaching you monocot root. Okay, that time I'll prove you this. Okay, uh, the trichomes are something which is called as the stem hairs. Remember, Hamesha Adrana NCERT practical example root hairs are something which is liner, unicellular. Hamesha Adrana NCERT liner says that the root hairs are always unicellular. NCERT practical and example says that shoot hairs or trichomes are something which is going to be multicellular. You have to remember this beta. But shoot hairs ka matlab kya hai? Bhoat simple sa function hota hai. Even sometimes transpiration mein as a, you know, zero fights ka adaptive measure hota hai. The trichomes ka jo hai na, use is something to prevent the loss of water during transpiration. Root has the function of that to absorb the water, to aid to the absorption and increase the absorption of water. That is something which is a very basic difference, though very common shoot root quality term, hai, but see the very degree or very very good difference in both of them, right? So that is one thing that you have to remember. Other than this, but um which parna hai to me cuticle, I guess. Epidermal tissue system may special covering hoti hai, which we will be discussing, I will be discussing dicot and all, root, cuticle. Cuticle is something which is sometimes impervious to water, we will be discussing it later on. Okay, this is one thing and I wish I had which a ground tissue system is something which is, I will tell you, it is largest and it is going to get, no more short case, all the other tissues for, oh, it gives rise. I wish I had to say one thing or the ground tissue system is something which is made up of mesophyll cells and again it is a fundamental tissue. Okay, but these are some points that I have to remember. Other than this vascular tissue system, why do we call it as specific? Because it is also called as specific tissue system. I call it as, so that I remember it is something which is complex tissue system. Anatomy, if we study basic, then we can see it if we classify it. Okay, tissues, all the tissues. Simple tissues, permanent tissues. No, no, first of all. Meristematic tissues and permanent tissues, right? Permanent will be of two types. One is called as simple tissue, other will be called as complex tissues. Simple tissues, parenchyma, colenchyma, sclerenchyma and all. And your so-called complex tissue is the element phloem, right? The complex tissues are element phloem or something which is given rise by vascular tissue system. That is something which is very important and it's something that comes in exam. This is why I remember this, I will say vascular tissue system is something which is complex tissue system. Why? Because all complex tissues are given rise by vascular tissue system. 
that's one thing that you have to remember with it. Other than this, what you should remember is something, uh, the basic terms or types of development. So let's directly move on to that. Okay, yeah. So, look, uh, there are some terms to confuse Martha and Sapko Martha. Okay, so you have to remember that. Uh, centrifugal, centripetal, okay, but it's give it tricks and which uh, if you want to remember, I'll tell you. But you don't need the development. If I'm a types of development, ki baat karo, the very first one is going to be centrifugal, okay, then comes centripetal. I'll be using these terms while I'll be discussing your dichord root, monocot root, and all. So, better be a sub we have to centrifugal, centripetal. Other than this, you have to remember both comes together sometimes. That is sometimes we call it as bifugal or centrifugal and centripetal together. Centrifugal hamesha ke hamesha adhukho ke vachche. It's very simple to understand. Dekho the answer. Centrifugal. Dekho. Uh, ek minute. Xylem do tera ki hoti hai. Ek hoti hai protoxylem, ek hoti hai metaxylem. Protoxylem is something which is made first. Or first form xylem is something which is called as protoxylem. Metaxylem is something which is formed secondary. Or origin vagera ma later on discuss karo ma. Okay. Just a bit of a yadra ko, protoxylem is the first form xylem, primitive xylem, metaxylem is something which is secondary or is after protoxylem which is formed. So, protoxylem, sorry, so I'm going to show you how much metacentrifugal is something, we have to just remember this, protoxylem and metaxylem, just don't remember anything else, right? Position is to remember, so PP, we have to remember that PP and P is going to be periphery. So, protoxylem, Hamesha ke hamesha dhekna, protoxylem is something which is formed towards the center whereas metaxylem is formed towards the periphery. In fugal, centrifugal, fugal, fuse, right? Fuse honne ke liye petals kya gerte hain? Aise fuse hote hain, towards the center, right? To hamesha dhekna, center matlab protoxylem. In centrifugal, centripetal, P, proto ka P, is ka P, hamesha dhekho ge, periphery. Right? These are going to be periphery and this is going to be center. That's it. Ecology thesis that is something uh, which will be uh, something which is very out of syllabus. Centrifugal, centripetal, both comes together. Okay, uh, that is found in your so called um, modification of roots morphology. So called uh, radish and all, coker vita and all. In some way, centrifugal, centripetal together. Some things are there. 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 बाहर की तरफ से अनफ्यूज रहता है कुछ होता है जो अंदर की तरफ से फ्यूज रहता है सो दैट्स समथिंग्स दैट यू आर प्रेजेंट अदर देन इस बच्चे वस्कुलर मंडल्स डिस्कस करते हैं दिस आर टाइप्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर अदर देन दिस द सो कॉल्ड वस्कुलर बंडल देखो यहाँ से बच्चे द वस्कुलर बंडल the very first one is something which we call it as to be the radial vascular. It's very simple. When both so called uh, radial vascular bundle, when both of your xylem and phloem, the complex tissues, when xylem and phloem are on different radii, NCERT liner on different radii, that time we call it as to be the so called tissue. It's like diagram of which is NCERT in the that you should remember. Okay, uh, it's just to explain you, you can use any figure just to explain you that this on different uh, bundle I mean on different radii two vascular bundle on different radii will be something which is a very rough diagram hope you don't mind okay? <laughs> uh, so a red wall you can say xylem and black wall or something which is going to be so these are so called uh, your two bundle on different radii that is called as radial vascular bundle NCERT liner NCERT example you have to remember that the xylem is something which is going to be like the if the radial vascular bundle has the particular all xylem is going to be uh, see xylem and phloem are on different radii what happens is the xylem is something uh, vascular bundle, xylem is something which is going to be two types, protoxylem, metaxylem, right? The xylem, the protoxylem is something which is towards the periphery in case of the radial vascular bundle. Metaxylem is something which is towards the center. So can I say one thing? 
all the retail was collaborated it shows a type of development which we call it as to be centripetal hamesha yaad rakhoge bachche kabhi bhi centripetal aayega whenever there occurs centripetal condition the complete of the xylem will be called as exarch xylem whereas the centrifugal aayega proto xylem center meta xylem periphery that condition will be called as indarch xylem ncert line ncert practically you have to remember this theek hai to ye bachche bahut simple hai theek hai to this radial jab bhi radial ka scolar bundle aayega that time you have to remember the complete of the xylem is and sorry exarch agar exarch hai to development kya hoga centri ये क्वेश्चन आ सकता है वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन है कुछ नहीं है राइट सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस अदर देन दिस अगर मैं कुछ पूछूं हूं देन सेकंड वन रेडियल वस्कुलर बंडल इज इट विजिबल या यस आई गेस सेकंड वन विल बी समथिंग कॉन्जॉइंट और कोलैटरल वस्कुलर बंडल ओके कॉन्जॉइंट एंड कोलैटरल वस्कुलर बंडल देख बच्चे मैं इसके लिए क्या कहता हूं ना मैं इसके लिए डायग्राम्स ही बनाता हूं आई नो प्रेफर कि वो रिटेल भी डेफिनेशंस को कि ये का समझ नहीं आता एक चीज और है बच्चे हमेशा 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 याद रखना रेडियल का आर आर है ना आर आर फॉर रूट्स जितनी भी रूट है लेट इट बी मोनोकॉट डाइकॉट मोस्ट ऑफ द रूट्स विल शो रेडियल स्कूल मोस्ट ऑफ द रूट्स ओके ओके देन अदर देन दिस कॉन्जॉइंट को लैक्टर देखो बच्चे इट्स वेरी सिंपल टू जस्ट रिमेंबर इन सी आर टी डाइग्राम ओके आई प्रिफर दिस बिकॉज ये इससे याद हो जाता है ओके सो दैट्स वाई जस्ट यूज दिस क्योंकि वो रिलेटिव डेफिनेशन से याद नहीं होगा तुम्हें देर कॉन्जॉइंट को लैक्चुरल वस्कुल जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस वन पार्ट ओके सी बच्चे कॉन्जॉइंट को लैक्चुरल में कुछ नहीं होता इफ आई एम मेकिंग टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल ओके कंसिडर देर आर सम सेल्स लाइक दिस रेड कलर एंड कंसिडर देर आर सम सेल्स इन ब्लू कलर ओके I am just saying there are some cells in red color and there are some cells in red uh, blue color. So the cells, for say, here we have seen okay. Some are in blue color and some are in red color, right? So always, 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 If there exists in between xylem and phloem, okay, uh, in between xylem and phloem, if there exist, as a, there exists a barrier kind of thing which we call it as to be cambium, okay. There exists a, a ring or structure that you know, दोनों को साथ में नहीं आने देता. That is called as cambium is present. There exists cambium between xylem and phloem. I'm not talking anything like. ओके लेट्स गो टू एनसीआरटीएस टेक टू क्योंकि ये तो फालतू फालतू कमेंट्स आते हैं फिर यूट्यूब के है ना उस पर यू नो पीपल जस्ट टेक योर मिस्टेक्स मोर ओके आई नो दैट मैं बोल रहा हूँ कि मैं कोई पैटर्न में नहीं ले रहा नो वन विल नोटिस दिस मैं जस्ट एनसीआरटी में जायफ्लोम ऊपर दिया है जायलम नीचे दिए पीपल विल पॉइंट दिस आउट आई नो दैट ओके सो ओके मैं बोल रहा हूँ अभी भी मैं कोई पैटर्न नहीं ले रहा इट्स ओके राइट सो जायलम एंड फ्लोएम ओके हमेशा याद रखना फ्लोएम और जायलम के बीच में इफ देर एग्जिस्ट केम देन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ओपन वस्कुलर बंडल वेर एज इफ देर एग्जिस्ट नो केम देन इट इज कॉल्ड टू बी द क्लोज वस्कुलर बंडल राइट समझ आ रही है सिंपल क्लोज मतलब पूरी तरह से पैक देर इज नो केम बिटवीन ओके देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लोज वस्कुलर बंडल हमेशा बच्चे याद रखना इफ देर इज समथिंग कंसिडर थोड़ा डिफरेंट है ये वाला It is something which is found in one rhizome. N C E R T example का question है ये, okay? देखो बच्चे, there are two cells again यहाँ पे, कुछ इस तरह. This is something which is phloem cells, okay? नीचे भी phloem है, kind of like this. And the xylem is something which is in between, ऐसा. यहाँ पे there are xylem cells. Are you getting this? It's very simple to understand, not as so tough that you know ना समझ जाए तो बस ये देख it's very simple just a second is it visible yeah xylem and phloem so देखो ध्यान से the red one both of them is going to be phloem बीच में xylem it is something which is called as inner phloem outer phloem inner cambium outer cambium and xylem this particular structure or this particular bundle is called as by Collateral bundle NCERT practical says that this bicolateral bundle is found 
in your so-called fun lysosome. NCERT example, you have to remember that. The fun lysosome is something which shows bicollateral bundle. Open collateral bundle is something, you know, open you have to remember which is very important as the open in the examples, you know, if you remember that, then you will not have the confusion. Open muscular bundle is found in the stem of dicot or monocot, figure be it of dicot and monocot. Always remember, if I am in the pattern, the phloem is on the top, the phloem is something which is of xylem. Of xylem, what kind of thing is it? You have to remember, since it is open kind of, so you just, it's simple, okay, xylem is going to be indarch and the development is going to be centrifugal. So it's simple, when the conjoint or collateral will come, always, okay, when the conjoint or collateral will come, xylem is going to be indarch and indarch means what will happen? Centrifugal. Radial is the roots, centripetal. It's as simple, just you have to remember. And the child is not a stem of gymnosperms, especially about the dicot and monocot stem of gymnosperm have open conjoint collateral stem. Okay, that's one thing that you have to remember. Other than this, bicollateral, it is something which is called as Goma Bhattvodhana. There is third condition which is centrifugal, centripetal, all come together. That is something which is called as bicollateral stem. Okay? And it's found in one rhizome. That's one thing. The stem of family of Cooperbetaceae family. Okay, dicot stem. They go, which is going to be very simple. You have to just remember few of the things. Okay? So, dicot stem. So, when Abhi just bata trichodermis. Okay, oh sorry, not dicot, trichome, sorry. Okay, so, sabse pahle ter stem hai, it is going to be a stem, right? So, there will be some hairs, kuch as tarah se, you can say. The trichome has, this is going to be the one layer. That is one layer, right? Other than this, that's going to be your trichomes. This is going to be your trichomes, isn't it? The another one is going to be your so-called trichomes. The very next layer, the trichot stem, is something which is present with a very thick covering, something called as cuticle. Has to be present. Cuticle is something which is going to be present in case of trichot stem. Cuticle is a thick covering. It is again Pro provides protection. Below cuticle, there will be another layer, thick cells with compact cells and that will be called as epidermis, has to be, right? The next layer will be something called as epidermis. Below this layer, there will be something which is a very great layer, I should say, okay? This great layer, I will green a little green, because there is something which is in you know, just something related with green. Always in the epidermis, there will be just below dermis. Below means hypo. And the name of this is hypodermis, right? This hypodermis is something which is going to be present with cholenchyma. And now remember what this cholenchyma is. A cholenchyma is something which is going to be present with so-called chloroplast. Has to be a modification of types of parenchyma, right? I mean, types of simple tissues. So, the colon gyma is something which is going to be chloro with present along with your chloroplast. So, can I say one thing? The particular dicot stem is something which is going to be highly photosynthetic, and that's again one of the reason why most of the xerophytic plants that are having mostly stem modification for you know photosynthesis are going to be dicots. Okay, question आया हुआ है इसलिए पे मैं ये सब जानना चाहिए, okay? Other than this, अब अगर मैं बात करूँ नीचे वाली लेयर्स की, तो they are going to be a very simple one, the cortex layer, okay? The the particular part is something which we call it as to be the general cortex, कुछ इस तरह, okay? General cortex, देख बच्चे is going to be very simple, वही है तुम्हें थोड़ा सा ध्यान देना है and it will be very simple, okay? कुछ ये चैप्टर में बेटा कुछ भी नहीं है सच बता रहा हूँ कुछ कुछ कु वही है डी बेसिक थिंग्स में जो तुम लोग मिस करते हो उसी में मार्क्स करते हैं राइट सो दिस इज़ गोइंग टू बी डी कॉर्टेक्स रिमेम्बर डेट एनसीईआरटी लाइन इन केस ऑफ डाइ कॉर्ट्स सेल डी कंप्लीट कॉर्टेक्स दिस इज़ कॉल्ड एस डी कंप्लीट दिस इज़ कॉल्ड एस योर कॉर्टेक्स एक्चुअली डी एक्जिस्टेड टर्म समथिंग हमेशा याद रखना, the general cortex is something which is differentiated into three parts. In case of dicot stem, the very first part is going to be hypodermis, the cortex, and the third part is going to be the endodermis. That's going to be very important, huh? and you have to remember it's going to be very important, right? So below this is something going to be endodermis, okay? कुछ ऐसा, right? So below this is something going to be endodermis, okay? So that's something which is going to be very important and you have to remember this. So this is your endodermis. 
अब बेटा देख कुछ चीजें जो तुझे याद रखनी है रखनी है वट आर दोस्त लेट मी नो देख यहाँ पे मैंने एक सर्कल जैसा छोड़ा है उसका रीजन है गलती से नहीं छोटा है वो देख बच्चे द कॉटेक्स इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट स्टेम इज समिंग विच इज है पर्टिकुलर यू नो स्पेस और गैप एंड दिस स्पेस इज समिंग वी कॉल इट एज टू बी योर सो कॉल रीजन या फिर म्यूसिलेजनस कैनाल एनसीआर टी एग्जाम्पल प्रैक्टिकल म्यूसिलेजनस और रीजन कैनाल इज समिंग विच इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ योर सो कॉल टाइकॉट सेम एंड रिमेम्बर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द रीजन कैनाल इज स्काइजोजेनस इन ऑरिजिन एनसीआर टी एग्जाम्पल वट इज स्काइजोजेनस स्काइजोजेनस इज समिंग विच इज फॉर्म बाई सेपरेशन ऑफ सेल अ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर विच इज फॉर्म बाई सेपरेशन ऑफ सेल इज कॉल एज स्काइजोजेनस टू द रीजन ऑफ दूजन मिसिलेजनस इन आर इज समिंग विच इज फॉर्म बाई योर सो कॉल एंडोडमिस एंडोडमिस इज कॉल्ड ए स्टार्च शीत क्यों इसे बोलते हैं स्टार्च शीत बिकॉज इट इज समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी मेड अप ऑफ स्टार्च ग्रीन एंड दैट्स द रीजन इज कॉल्ड एज स्टार्च शीत तो द star sheet is the characteristic feature again of your so called dicot stem and uh, the so called uh, resin canal is going to be schizogenous hypodermis is going to be cohen kaimet yes okay and the epidermis is going to be unisterate unilayer as well as parent kaimetus okay that's going to be main of this okay so now let's be over here अब यहाँ पे बहुत अच्छा पार्ट है below endodermis there will be pericycle the pericycle is something which is going to be different they can see These are something which is continuation of the parenchyma cells, complete of the parenchyma cells. Okay, ऐसा. It will be continuously being formed parenchyma cells. देखो यहाँ से. The parenchyma cells. Look, there are two parts. The इसके नीचे अब जो आएगा वो होगा vascular bundle. Basically pericycle. Okay, अब सुनते हैं ऐसे. The vascular bundle. It the pericycle is something we call it to be as if the pericycle का front वाला part. If the front part of the pericycle, if the front part, if the front part of the pericycle is something which is the front part of the pericycle is something which is made of a specialized cell. Black cell is something. This part I am saying it has to be the front part. This part is something which is formed of a special type of cell which are called as sclerenchyma cells. The Dicot stem है, the front part of the vascular bundle is made up of sclerenchyma cell, whereas the back part of the vascular bundle is made up of different types of cell. Basically वो remaining part होता है, okay not we never use the word back part something. हमेशा रखना just एक ही term NCERT practical example ने use किया, that is something which is going to be your front part. The front part of the vascular bundle is made up of sclerenchyma. Remaining complete part is something which is made up of तो ये ग्रीन और ब्लू जो भी है मैंने जस्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन दीज टू सेल्स आई हैव गिवन ये ग्रीन भी वही है और ब्लू भी वही ओके इट्स गोइंग टू बी द सेम एंड दीज आर गोइंग टू बी योर पैरेंकाइमा सेल्स हमेशा रखना दे आर गोइंग टू बी पैरेंकाइमा सेल तो व्हाट आई टोल्ड ओके समझ आई बात इतना जो बोल रहा हूं दैट इज साइकिल इज गोइंग टू बी द इनर मोस्ट आई मीन सॉरी द इनर मोस्ट इज गोइंग टू बी एंडोडर्मिस हैज टू बी इनर मोस्ट ऑफ द जनरल कॉर्टेक्स बिलो व्हिच विल बी योर पेरिसाइकल एंड दिस पेरिसाइकल विल बी समथिंग You know, uh, which will be differentiated so, in parenchyma and parenchyma cell. Now, see, very simple thing is the question again. I have. If I take out carbon, then gram sunflower has to be sunflower cell. If and if question comes, then see. Since the pericycle is made up of two different type of cell, one is going to be living, other is going to be non-living. One is going to be sclerenchyma, other is going to be parenchyma. Can I say one thing? The particular type of Pericycle. This is the complete pericycle, right? I'm talking about. This is your pericycle. So the complete of the pericycle is something which is going to be a different. You know, for some nine standard kit term, heterogeneous in origin has to be. So we should have known the pericycle in case of dicot stem. The pericycle in case of dicot stem is going to be heterogeneous in origin. Am I too right? It is going to be. Heterogeneous in origin. That is going to be very, very, very important. Very important. I know that direct heterogeneous origin origin of the particular following is dicot stem. So these are basic basic questions, and you have to remember this. Then come heterogeneous origin. Okay, that is going to be one thing. Then comes this is one thing. Then इसके नीचे आ जाएंगे parenchyma के further cells. Okay, and these parenchyma cells will then modify themselves, and they will form the cells that conduct water mainly. Sorry, not water. That will conduct food 
bidirectionally and this will be your so called uh, flowing cells okay these will be your flowing cells then you below your flowing cells ab dekh kya hota tha this is a stem right the stem mein kya sa development hota hai centri fugal or petal has to be fugal hamesha rakhna it will be centrifugal type right? where uh, centrifugal mein matlab condition will be endarch condition conjoint collateral open type of a sclerodendron is found in case of stems to so, kuch aisa maan lo main agar aise ja rahe hain kuch is tarah se okay like this aur bhi thoda aise ja rahe hain right this is something uh, roughly i'm drawing okay it is going to be your cambium the red one kuch is tarah se the red one is something which is going to be your cambium since it is a open type of vascular bundle the cambium of kaun si condition mein the endarch condition endarch matlab centrifugal centrifugal mein kya hota tha protoxylem is going to be towards the center towards the center matlab kahan pe protoxylem is going to be towards the fit and the metazylem is something which is going to be away from the center and hamesha the metazylem will be secondly formed and no zara bada hoga size mein as compared to protoxylem aisa हमेशा बड़ा होगा प्रोटोसाइलम कुछ इस तरह ओके दैट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो द फर्स्ट फॉर्म जाइलम इज गोइंग टू बी द प्रोटोसाइलम एंड द नेक्स्ट जाइलम इज गोइंग टू बी योर मेटाजाइलम द कंडीशन इज गोइंग टू बी एंडार्ज कंडीशन राइट एंड द डेवलपमेंट इज गोइंग टू बी सेंट्री फ्यूगर टाइप अब आ जाओ जरा उसके बाद ऐसे ऐसे राइट दिस पैरेंकाइमा सेल विल सराउंड दिस वस्कुलर बंडल हैज टू बी यहां पे भी पैरेंकाइमा के पूरे सेल्स रहेंगे दे विल बी पैरेंकाइमा सेल एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर पैरेंकाइमा पैरेंकाइमा राइट हियर आल्सो देयर विल बी योर सो कॉल्ड पैरेंकाइमा सेल दैट विल एग्जिस्ट टू राइट ओवर हियर बट जब देख ये सब चीजें बहुत सिंपल है तुम्हें कहीं भी ये सब पूछ सकते हो ओके so you should have habit you know main hamesha kehta hu even if you ever have referred my notes mere notes bhi hamesha aise diagram honge ya tables bana ke honge compare karke honge so that they will always help you when you will prepare for the last day when you need preparation agar tumhe last day mein padhna hai ya revise karna hai right to kya karna hai uske liye main kehta hu ab dekh this is your so called parenchyma muscle these parenchyma muscles are directly coming from pericycle now this will उल्टा देख इट इज गोइंग लाइक दिस एंड गोइंग एंड अब इट इज समथिंग विच इज डाइवर्जिंग एवरीवेर राइट हर जगह से कवर कर रहा है इट इज समथिंग विच इज रेडियली डाइवर्ज फॉर समथिंग कॉल्ड एस कंडक्शन हैज टू बी हमेशा रखना दीज आर दो पर्टिकुलर ये रे होता है एक तरह का रे शेप्ड है एंड दीज आर समथिंग विच वी कॉल इट एज मेडुलरी रेस द मेडुलरी रेस का फंक्शन ही होता है तेरा रेडियल कंडक्शन ऑफ वॉटर इट्स फंक्शन इज इट्स इज फॉर रेडियल कंडक्शन ऑफ वॉटर एंड एट लास्ट देर अकर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज योर पिथ हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे पिथ इज समथिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी वेल डेवलप्ड हाईली कॉन्स्पिक्युअस इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट स्टेम दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर अदर देन दिस बच्चे कुछ अगर याद रखना है ना एनसीईआरटी का लाइन जो डायग्राम से नहीं पता चलता पर लाइनर में दिया अगर तू ध्यान से कभी देखेगा इन माइक्रोस्कोप द डाइकॉट स्टेम दैट वस्कुलर बंडल दिस इज योर कंप्लीट वस्कुलर बंडल इज इट द वस्कुलर बंडल द वस्कुलर बंडल व्हिच इज एंडार्च द डाइकॉट स्टेम का वस्कुलर बंडल will be something which is ring shaped ncert liner ncert example ring shaped vascular bundle is a characteristic feature of dicot stem other than this bachche hamesha rakhna pericycle is something you know pericycle is over here this is your pericycle pericycle is something which is present below the endodermis hai na and between the vascular bundle हमेशा के हमेशा रखना यहाँ में जो स्क्लेरन काइमा के सेल्स है ना इट्स एन सी ई आर टी लाइन स्क्लेरन काइमा के सेल्स इज फ्लोइंग फ्लोइंग के ऊपर है स्क्लेरन काइमा के सेल दिस स्क्लेरन काइमा के सेल आर प्रेजेंट एज सेमी लुनार पैचेस एन सी ई आर टी एग्जाम्पल द सेल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन डाइकॉट स्टेम एज सेमी लुनार पैचेस इज गोइंग टू बी स्क्लेरन काइमा सेल्स तो ये कुछ पार्ट है तुम्हें याद रखना है 
ओके इट्स गोइंग टू बी समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके लाइक व्हाट्स इतना लिखने के बाद मन भी नहीं करता बेटा ने का पर हर मोड ऑफ चॉइस है सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू योर डाइकॉट या देन लेट्स स्टार्ट विद योर सो कॉल्ड अनदर वन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर डाइकॉट रूट ओके पहले डाइकॉट्स कर लेते हैं फिर मोनोकॉट करेंगे ओके डाइकॉट रूट थोड़ा सा अलग है पर थोड़ा सा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड भी है और एज टू बी रूट है है ना सो होना भी चाहिए डाइकॉट रूट देख बच्चे इसका डायग्राम है ना मैं थोड़ा अच्छे से बनाऊंगा बिकॉज इसमें डायग्राम कहने को कुछ है नहीं पर पॉइंट ज्यादा है एक्चुअली इसी वजह से कुछ ऐसा राइट ज्यादा रूट है ऐसे होंगे हाँ ट्राइकोड पर लिख देना हाँ ट्राइकोड रूट में जा जाके प्लीज दीज आर समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी रूट हैज ओके एंड रूट हैज आर समथिंग पता है देर आर गोइंग टू बी यूनिसल हमेशा रखोगे बच्चा एक चीज याद रखोगे रूट हैज के नीचे ही देर इज लेयर देर इज नो क्यूटिकल प्रेजेंट एपिडामिस इज हैविंग नो क्यूटिकल एंड इज समथिंग रूट इज समथिंग इज नॉट वेल प्रोटेक्टेड एंड दैट इज एन इट गेट्स वेरी इजली यू नो टॉन ऑफ और बहुत जल्दी टूट या कट जाती है ओके हमेशा रखना था एपिडोमिस इन केस ऑफ रूट is something which is called as the epidermis in case of root is something which is called as epiblema it's an c e r t line and unistereate unistereate matlab it is going to be unilayered that is called as unistereate or unilayered okay hamesha uh, rakhna epiblema matlab it is single layered but in case of dicot root but in dicot stem it can be one or two layer epidermis okay so ye cheeze hain jo tumhe yaad rakhni hai देन हमेशा नहीं हमेशा रखोगे क्यूटिकल एंड स्टोमैटा आर समथिंग इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट रूट द क्यूटिक यार इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट रूट द क्यूटिकल एंड स्टोमैटा ठीक है द सो कॉल्ड क्यूटिकल एंड स्टोमैटा आर समथिंग विच आर गोइंग टू बी एब्सेंट इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट रूट राइट क्यूटिकल एंड स्टोमैटा आर समथिंग विच आर गोइंग टू बी एब्सेंट इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट रूट ओके अदर देन दिस ये चीज हमेशा रखना देर इज नो क्यूटिकल इन डाइकॉट रूट दिस इज कॉल्ड एस एपीबेमा एस पर एनसीआर टी एंड इज गोइंग टू बी यूज ओके देन कम्स योर सो कॉल्ड लेयर्स कुछ इस तरह ओके देर आर सम सेल्स इन केस ऑफ रिकॉल नो इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट स्टेम अपने ने क्या पढ़ा था देर वॉज हाइपोडोमिस प्रेजेंट हमेशा रखना द हाइपोडोमिस डू एग्जिस्ट But there is no differentiation. मैंने क्या बताया था वहां पे द जनरल कॉटिक्स इन केस ऑफ डाइकॉट स्टेम इज समथिंग विच इज वेल डिफरेंशिएटेड इन टू हाइपोडोमिस एंडोडोमिस एंड पेरिसाइकल बट देर इज नो डिफरेंशिएशन हमेशा के बेटा हमेशा रखना देर इज नो डिफरेंशिएशन दिस इज द लेयर विच यू कॉल इट हैज टू बी द जनरल कॉटिक्स द जनरल कॉटिक्स इज नॉट डिफरेंशिएटेड इट इज नॉट डिफरेंशिएटेड इन टू एंडोडर्मिस हाइपोडर्मिस और There is no differentiation, no degree of differentiation, which is known in case of general cortex. The general cortex is something which is present with intercellular spaces. And recall now, general cortex may a thing be so called hypodermis, and hypodermis is something which is you know, present in case of dicot stem. The hypodermis is something which was having collagenchyma, that is chloroplast, and it was photosynthetic. There is the general. So can I say one thing? The dicot stem may The general cortex is indirectly photosynthetic because there is something which general cortex may have put on it. Oh, photosynthetic. So the general cortex is going to be photosynthetic. यहाँ पे क्या? यहाँ पे there is no hypodermis differentiated and there is something which is you know कुछ भी ऐसा present नहीं है जो photosynthetic हो and that's the very big difference. The non or non photosynthetic cortex exists in dicot root. ये question आ सकता है. ये N C E R T exam ला तो question है and you should remember that. ओके दैट इज वन थिंग देन बेटा दैट इज जनरल कॉटेक्स ओके इसके सर सच ही जाएंगे फ्यू सेल्स और गो लाइक दिस टू ओके 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 देन देयर अकर समथिंग कॉल लाइक दिस थोड़ा सा यू नो ध्यान रखिए अगर तुम करोगे नो तो ये चैप्टर बहुत इजी है इट्स नॉट एज टफ ओके सो This is something which is going to be your general. I'm so sorry if it is not coming circular. Okay, hope it comes circular. 
सेव अच्छे इधर देखो हाँ इस सर्कुलर आ गया राइट देखो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज द लेयर है ना नॉर्मली एंडोड क्या होता है कॉटेक्स के बाद सो दिस द जनरल है ना जनरल कॉटेक्स के बाद जो लेयर आती है समथिंग विच वी कॉल इट टू बी द लेयर ऑफ एंडोडोमिस हैज टू बी अब देख एंडोडोमिस के बाद नॉर्मल से थिंग है ना पेरिसाइकल एंड देन देर विल बी समथिंग विच वी कॉल इट टू बी योर बस उधर है यहाँ पे पेरिस और ऑस्कॉर्मेंटल साढ़ा डिफ्रेंशिएटेड नहीं रहते सब एक साथ ही रहते हैं सो लेट्स मेक इट लाइक दैट ओके सो तुम्हें ज्यादा उसमें परेशान होने की जरूरत नहीं है सबसे पहले तो नॉर्मल सेल्स रहते हैं ओके जस्ट मेक इट लाइक दैट ओके दैट विल बी बेटर दिस इज अट कैन से Other than this, uh, you have to remember that condition has to be exhaust condition. Exhaust मतलब क्या? Centripetal, centripetal मतलब क्या? PP बता रहा ना periphery. तो protoxylem is something which is going to be towards the periphery, whereas the metaxylem will be something which will be towards the center. कुछ इस तरह. Okay? ऐसा. Uh, ऐसा. Okay? Other than this, uh, what you have to remember is this one. There will be some specialized cells यहाँ पे. That perform the function of nourishing kind of ऐसा and these are the cells which we call it as to be the cells of pericycle. हमेशा याद रखोगे बेटा this is something which is called as pericycle and the green one the last one is something has to be protoxylem and the first one is going to be your metaxylem मैंने बताया the condition is something which is called as exhaust condition in case of Dicot root, whereas in dicot stem there was endarch condition, and the development will be centri petal. That you have to remember. Okay, the protoxylem is towards the periphery, metaxylem is towards the center. Okay, so pericycle. Okay, then there will be normal, normal parenchyma cells. I have no other soil. Okay, this is cortex. Not normal. I am black cell doctor. Let's say normal cells. Okay, uh, all the now covering the particular this pericycle, you know, endodermis, complete cells. है ना बीच में पिथ भी रहेगा राइट सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रक्चर इट्स गोइंग टू बी समथिंग हेल्प्स अ लॉट अगर तुम ऐसे डायग्राम बना के बच्चे पढ़ोगे ना इट आई रियली अप्रिशिएट इट ओके इफ यू मेक योर नोट्स विद डायग्राम्स देन इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर यू ड्यूरिंग योर नीड प्रिपरेशन टू जस्ट यू पढ़ने के लिए एंड ऑल आर यू गेटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस ओके इन बिटवीन देर विल बी सर्टेन सेल And this is one thing that you have to remember. And then uh, there will be some more cells, right? Xylem hai, and now there will be few more cells. Right over here, you can see. Kuch aisa. And bata hai na, this is going to be radial vascular bundle. So yahan pe jo red color ke things hai na, there is something which is going to be fluorescent cells. Okay? And ye red green wale toh na, aur ye they are going to be fluorescent cells. So this is the complete dicot root ka anatomy hai that you have to remember. मैं पहले बताया था in between this particular part, right? There will be something which is called as pith. हमेशा के बेटा हमेशा एक और point याद रख लो please. Okay, it's going to be very important. Pith is smaller. ये question भी आया हुआ है. I don't remember exactly. I guess need 2016 phase one or phase two. Inconspicuous, reduced or absent. The pith. is going to be inconspicuous reduced or absent in case of dicot root but the pith is going to be very different in case of dicot stem to ye sab cheez hai bachche jo tumhe aa jati hai bahut basic basic cheez hai ye question ye 2016 mein face hua ya face two i don't remember exactly but aaya hai so you have to remember this okay so that is one thing aur bhi ek cheez aur hai the cells hai na ye jo black black cells banaya na maine these black cells ka ek special function hota hai we'll discuss that ओके एंड ये सेल एक स्पेशल टिश्यू बनाता है दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच वी कॉल इट एज टू बी द कंजक्टिव टिश्यू दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ये ब्लैक ब्लैक सेल्स जो है ये सब मिला के एक टिश्यू बनाते हैं दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज कंजक्टिव टिश्यू तो बच्चे देखिए एक चीज पेरिसाइकल इज समथिंग व्हिच इज सिंगल लेयर और यू नो द पेरिसाइकल मैंने मार्क किया ना पेरिसाइकल हां यस ब्लू वाला तो हमेशा देखना द पेरिसाइकल इज समथिंग व्हिच इज विद लेस इंटरसेलुलर स्पेसेस एंड कॉम्पैक्टली अरेंज सेल्स यू कैन सी हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे का पेरिसाइकल के एक्सटेंशन कुछ रूट प्रोड्यूस करती है ओके हमेशा याद रखना सुनो ध्यान से देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रूट ओके देर आर सम रूट विच आर कॉल्ड एज नेचुरल रूट एंड देर आर सर्टेन रूट विच आर कॉल्ड यू नो नॉर्मल रूट हमेशा याद रखना लैचुरल रूट पेरिसाइकल इज दैट 
Yeah. So there are two types of roots that I was telling, right? Pericycle. Pericycle ke through some roots aati hai bache, that is called as lateral roots. Hamesha bache ek cheez yaad rakhna. Thik hai? The roots that are something that originate, the lateral roots are something that originate from pericycle. NCERT example says that these roots are something which are called as endogenous in nature. NCERT example, you have to remember lateral roots are going to be endogenous in origin. Okay, that's one thing that uh, you have to remember. Other than this, but you can call cheese, sir, you can use the protozoalum and metal. The number of phloem, NCERT line, the number of phloem is equal to the number of xylem. Sometimes what happens is xylem are something which may be, you know, xylem bundles are something which may be 2 to 4. Okay, the xylem bundles may be present. Normally, xylem and phloem patches are usually 2 to 4 in number, and sometimes they may be 2 to 6. 2 di arch condition 6 hexarch condition the very 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 important hamesha ratna the di arch and hexarch condition is something for xylem and phloem and it's very general one hamesha ki hamesha 2 to 4 that is tetrad condition ncert liner is found in sunflower sorry sorry sorry, sorry. is found in something which we call it as gram very 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 important one bache to bhai yaad rakhna the tetrad condition is something which is found in case of gram ncert line up please remember it's going to be very important and sunflower too that sunflower is also a dicot right sunflower and gram may there is something which is going to be your tetrad condition so that is something which is going to be very 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 important pericycle is something which is made up of specialized kind of parenchyma which is sometimes called as prosenchyma ये भी कुछ पॉइंट्स हैं जो तुम्हें याद रखने एक और चीज मैंने बताई थी आई प्रूव समथिंग हमेशा रखना द एपिब्लमा के ऊपर जो रूट है सोते दैट इज समथिंग गोइंग टू बी कॉल्ड एज एपिडर्मल सेल्स पे ध्यान से सुन मेनी ऑफ द एपिडर्मल सेल्स प्रोट्यूड टुगेदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट द एपिडर्मल सेल्स प्रोट्यूड टुगेदर द एपिडर्मल सेल प्रोट्यूड टुगेदर एंड फॉर्म सर्टेन यूनिसेलुलर सेल्स सॉरी यूनिसेलुलर हैज दीस आर कॉल्ड एज रूट हैज अब देख देयर इज एपिडर्मिस Epidermis ne kya kiya? The epidermis has given you something which is epidermis has protruded together and given rise to root hairs, right? These root hairs ki wajah se the epiblema is also sometimes called as rhizodermis. NCERT line, sorry example, you have to remember the particular aims assertion reasoning question aa sakta hai bache. What is rhizodermis or rhizodermis kyun naam pada it is because the epiblema cells protrude together and give rise to a particular type of unicellular root has and that's the reason the dicot root epiblema is also called as what? So called rhizodermis. Yeh cheeze toh mayaad rakhni hai. That is going to be very important. That is something called as rhizodermis. And rhizodermis is something. So, bachcha ek cheeze samajh aayega toh mein. The root has in case of dicot root is something which is extension of epidermal cells. So, hamesha yeh cheeze aayega toh mein. Yeh kuch points are. That is going to be very important. Root has will be in maturation zone. We will be discussing it later on. Okay, that is going to be very important. What I told you one thing, I told you, right? क्या बताया था मैंने? General cortex is something in case of dicot root is going to be non-photosynthetic. The very important NCERT example. Tinos पूरा करके genus होती है और ये तो वे perfect नहीं होंगे हाँ. The tinos ये याद रखना तुम्हें. Tinos पूर is a particular genus. The only genus which is going to have the general cortex to be photosynthesis. Even in case of dicot root, there are some liners you have to remember. And there is something called as assimilatory kind of. Or a call is endodermis. My favorite, okay? Endodermis. So, what is the Dicot, I always say that endodermis is not going to be dicot root. Or what is the cause? Because this is the same thing. I have a phone. Consider, there is something called as. I will tell you what is it. Endodermis is something which is having some strips. They are called as Casparian strips. They are called as Casparian strips. So, what is it? It is going to be very simple. Just consider this has to be the Casparian, uh, your endodermis. This complete thing is to be as your endodermis. Again, I say endodermis whole now. The radial and tangential wall, I am talking about this, this, this and this. Are you getting this? The radial and tangential wall, this and open niche, corners 
आर समथिंग जहां उस एंडोडर्मिस के इन पार्ट्स में देयर इज समथिंग व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज योर सो कॉल्ड कैस्पेरियन स्ट्रिप्स आर प्रेजेंट दीस कैस्पेरियन बैंड्स आर समथिंग व्हिच इज सुबेराइज हमेशा के बच्चे हमेशा रखोगे द कैस्पेरियन बैंड्स दैट वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय कैस्पेराइड ओके दीस आर समथिंग व्हिच इज सुबेराइज and hence since these are superized so there is something which is impervious to water and that's the reason in case of dicot endodermis or sorry uh, endodermis in case of dicot root is going to be superized and that's the reason there occurs no water conduction via radial and tangential wall that's an crt example abhi maine bola tha ye pura tera endodermis hai isn't it radial tangential wall mein there is no so called what there is no uh, water conduction because of casperian bands are present over here over here right this is something that is called as water leakage or water tight dam that's question b aaya hai bachcha i guess mhct 2019 mein aaya hai to bachcha ye cheez yaad rakhna the casperian strip or endodermis due to presence of casperian strip is something which is called as the water check or water tight dam that prevents the leakage of water from the steel that is something which is very important point ab agar ye tarah ye hai endodermis yahan se pani nahi ja raha to pani jayega kahan se here or here right that's very simple aage se aage se ya fir piche se this तो कहने से वन थिंग द लैचरल वॉल्स दैट इज टेंजेंशियल एंड रेडियल वॉल तो सुबह राइज है बट द लैचरल और द फ्रंट एंड बैक वॉल वॉल्स ऑफ द इंडोडर्मिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज कंडक्टिंग वाटर एंड दैट्स द रीजन द लैचरल एंड द फ्रंट वॉल्स आर कॉल्ड एज पैसेज सेल्स दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म बच्चे वो तुम्हें समझना है कैस्पेरियन के ठीक है इंडोडर्मिस के दो पार्ट्स आर इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज रेडियल रेडियल एंड टेंजेंशियल वॉल दे आर सुबह राइज सुबह राइज इज इंपर्वियस टू वाटर एंड हेंस देयर अकर्स नो वाटर कंडक्शन ओके बट पैसेज सेल्स जो है आगे पीछे के समथिंग यू नो दैट हेल्प्स यू अ लॉट एंड दैट कंडक्ट्स द वाटर सो ये इंडोडर्मिस का एक पार्ट है जो तुम्हें बहुत अच्छे से बच्चे पढ़ने हैं बहुत 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 अच्छे से पढ़ना है ओके दैट्स वन थिंग सो इतना ही है मोस्ट उसमें और कुछ नहीं है मेन फंक्शन हमेशा याद रखना था पैसेज सेल का मेन फंक्शन सी इट्स समथिंग देख ध्यान से There are so-called endodermis is something which is between cortex and pericycle, right? So main function of endodermis के passage cell का water conduction is between cortex and pericycle. What simple thing is, right? There is nothing tough in that. So this one is your dicot root. और उसके बाद तो बच्चे कुछ भी ऐसा नहीं है जो मैंने नहीं बताया. एक और चीज़ बच्चे जो मैं morphology में usually पढ़ा तो मैंने क्या बताया था यहाँ पे lateral roots, right? Pericycle lateral roots को देता है. It is endogenous. एडवेंटेशियस रूट्स क्या होती है पता है दैट रूट्स दैट ग्रो फ्रॉम द पार्ट अदर देन रेडिकल राइट एडवेंटेशियस रूट्स आर एक्सोजेनस इन नेचर दैट्स वन थिंग द ब्रांचेस ऑफ स्टेम आर अगेन एक्सोजेनस इन ओरिजिन ये सब एनसीईआरटी फ्रैक्टल्स के लाइन है आई गेस यू शुड नो देम इट्स गोइंग टू बी क्यों एक्सोजेनस कहते हैं हमेशा देखना देयर इज अ डिफरेंस इट्स प्रैक्टिकल लाइन है एम्स एसोसिएशन इज नीड पूछ सकता है व्हाई आई से दैट टू मेक देखो एंड क्या बोलना है द ब्रांचेस ऑफ स्टेम आर एक्सोजेनस इन नेचर व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे ग्रो और दे ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम extra stellar region where as the branches of your so called sorry the adventitious roots are exogenous in nature because they grow from the stellar region that is something which is going to be very 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 important you should know this okay these are something which is very simple and there's no you know ye sab common cheez hai jo tumhe aani aani chahiye and whereas the lateral roots are endogenous because they originate from pericycle in succession reasoning very basic things you should know okay so Yeah, next let's move on to your dicot stem. Oh, sorry, monocot stem. Okay, your so-called monocot stem is again a very simple, you know, uh, kind of, <laughs> right? So it's not as simple. Okay, uh, so let's make it off. But just this diagram, okay, let's make it simple. Okay, 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 this diagram, okay, let's make it simple. The epidermis over here is again can be one or two layer, not unis layer. It can be again one to two layer thick. Okay, the epidermis can be one to two layer one. Okay, it is. Hamesha dekhna the monocot stem. The epidermis is present with thick cuticle. The cuticle do exist over here. The cuticle is present. The epidermis is something which is covered with so called thick cuticle. Okay, other than this, you have to remember the multicellular. Stem has has to be present, okay? Is it? 
That's the difference. Hamesha the the monopod stem and dicot stem. The very basic difference. Monopod stem, dicot stem me kya trichomes are present. Hamesha ke hamesha dekho ke bache. The trichomes are something which are going to be absent in case of epidermis in monopod stem. That is one thing which is going to be very important. Next, uh, second layer is something which is called as hypodermis. राइट हाइपोडर्मिस अब देख मैंने क्या बोला था इन केस ऑफ रिकॉन और डाइकोट स्टेम क्या बोला था द हाइपोडर्मिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ कोलेनकाइमा कोलेनकाइमा इज विद क्लोरोप्लास्ट राइट हमेशा के हमेशा रखना हाइपोडर्मिस इन केस ऑफ मोनोकोट स्टेम इज समथिंग व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ स्क्लेरेनकाइमा एनसीईआरटी लाइनर डेड सेल स्क्लेरेनकाइमा जहां भी होगा उसका एक ही फंक्शन होगा क्या मैकेनिकल सपोर्ट हेंस The hypodermis is something is going to be mechanical support in case of monocot stem, but is going to be photosynthetic in case of dicot stem, and that's the reason in case the hypodermis. Like a very important point of it, sir. Hypodermis in case of monocot stem is going to be more rigid because of presence of sclerenchyma cells, but the in due to presence of colenchyma in case of dicot stem. The hypodermis is going to be more elastic or flexible as compared to monocot stem. So much are you about that is some NCERT example points you have to know. Very common general, so basic things. Scrolling time, where you go, there will be hard to get because it is made up of dead cells, right? So these are things that you must know. Okay. Other than this, uh, the third is going to be your ground tissue, or so called your uh you know cot there is no cortex actually in case of monocot stem there is no well differentiated cortex and all there is just exit something which is called as ground tissue large conspicuous and parenchymitis okay there is no differentiated or very uh, same which is similar to dicot fruit there is no differentiation okay there is no differentiation in case of your so called the uh, ground tissue it is going to be large conspicuous large and conspicuous with no differentiation yeah that's not with no differentiation these are some points that you must know it's ncrt line okay it means that uh, it is not differentiated means okay it is not differentiated into cortex pericycle endodermis cambium and all like this okay there is something that is going to be very important ab ek cheez bata rahi hai recall ho uh, in case of dicot stem there was something which is resin canal resin canal was something that was for water conduction and that was skyogenesis noise and formed by separation of cells बहुत ही बेटा इंपॉर्टेंट बात है तुम्हें याद रखना इन सम मोनोपॉट स्टेम नॉट ऑल इन केस ऑफ सम मोनोपॉट स्टेम इन केस ऑफ लाइक ग्रासेस और वीट द सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ द ग्राउंड टिश्यू सॉयलोस एंड बिकम्स सम स्ट्रक्चर यू नो द सेंट्रल पोर्शन द सेंट्रल पोर्शन स्वेल्स अप सॉरी द सेंट्रल पोर्शन स्वेल्स अप एंड फॉर्म्स सर्टेन स्ट्रक्चर व्हिच इज Called as the pith cavity. That is going to be very important. And this pith cavity is something that stores water for heart conditions. Okay, is found in the. I have told you, yeah, wheat and grasses. Okay, so this pith cavity is again a characteristic feature of monocot stem. There is a resin canal or miscellaneous canal or something, which is of dicot stem. Okay. Other than this, your vascular bundle. I have told you about the vascular bundle in case of now recall just now dicot root. I have told you about the vascular bundle is something which is going to be you know uh, to to diarch or you know hexarch condition in general or tetrad is found in sunflower and grass, right? And it is ring shaped vascular bundle is found in case of dicot stem. Hamesha ke hamesha bache yaad rakhoge. The scattered vascular bundle is something which is a character scattered oval shaped vascular bundle. Or something. Let me write it down here. It's something which is very important point. Scattered, oval-shaped, NCERT liner. The scattered, oval-shaped vascular bundle is a characteristic feature of monocot stem. ठीक है scattered vascular oval-shaped vascular oval or egg-shaped vascular bundle is characteristic feature of vascular this one. हमेशा रखना होता क्या है? There are two types of vascular bundle in this. Okay. Some are called as peripheral vascular bundle. Some are peripheral towards the periphery. Some are which is towards the center. Okay, center by vascular bundle. हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे, the peripheral vascular bundle. Okay, the peripheral vascular bundle. बहुत सिंपल है इसको भी याद रखना. It's not tough. The peripheral vascular bundle are small, whereas the central vascular bundle are large. But since these are small, they are more in number, right? Whereas these are something which are 
less in number. So this is something which points are going to be very important in CERT line that you must know and you must remember. Okay? So the peripheral vascular bundle are something which are going to be small and more in number, whereas the central vascular bundle are something which are large and going to be less in number. Okay. So these are some points that you must know. Okay, Hamisha Rakna Bache, each vascular bundle, uh, if you will see the diagram, uh, okay. Agar tu diagram dekhoge dhyan se, the vascular bundle is something which is surrounded by sclerin kaima sheath. That is going to be very important. The vascular bundle is something which is surrounded by sclerin kaima sheath, bundle sheath, okay. And uh, that's the reason the since it is something sclerin kaima ke do cells hota, you might know fibers and chakki, you know, sclerates. So that's the reason the vascular bundle is covered with, uh, the vascular bundle in more time is covered with sclerenchyma and that's the reason it is also called as your so-called fibrovascular bundle. So the fibrovascular bundle characteristic feature of monocot stem, again a point that is going to be very important, fibrovascular bundle aims, fibrovascular bundle is a characteristic of monocot stem. Reason if it says then it is going to be the so called vascular bundle is covered with sclerenchyma sheath. The option will be A. The assertion and reason are true. Assertion, the reason is going to be the correct explanation of assertion. That's something which is going to be very, very, very important and you must know. Okay, uh, that's something which is going to be very, very, very important. Water containing cavities are two present in there. Okay, now let's vascular bundle ka pehla part padte hai, sabse pehle xylem. Hamesha rathan xylem and phloem are something which are very different in number. And then, or since this is going to be a stem, which type of condition will exist in case of stem? Since it is a monocot stem, has to be exerge, right? Hamesha bache, hamesha beat, any stem. Hamesha rathan, galti mat kana, is mene wahi bata hai, stem hai matlab, and dodge. And in dodge, the condition has to be centrifugal. For joint collateral, closed and dodge condition, right? So that is going to be very, very, very important and you must know this. Okay, other than this, Hamisha Dekna, the xylem, if I talk about xylem, ki baat karun, the vessel, xylem, ke baat sa hai, xylem, vessel, xylem, trachees, we will be discussing all of them later on. The vessels are going to be less in number. Vessels are less in number. NCERT, line, I don't just, you know, ignore this particular line. Less in number. Other than this, I am not going to say anything. So, xylem vessels are going to be less in number. Hamesha, there are meta xylem, there are plus two large vessels. But in case of, I have some points that you should know. In case of meta xylem, right? In case of meta xylem, there occurs two large vessels at least. Kam se kam do large vessels rehte hain. But in case of proto xylem, there occurs only one large, you know, there occurs no one or very no, no large vessel, no vessel at all. Kam se kam ek hoga ya ek bhi nahi hoga. It's something which is the condition of protoxylum that you have to remember. Hamesha rakhna, the very important point, vessels, jo bhi vessels agar present hoi, the vessels are arranged in V or Y shape. NCERT line practical example you must remember the arrangement of xylem vessel in V or Y shape is going to be a characteristic of monocot stem. A question de bache, aata hi aata hai, you must know that. Okay, agar to diagram, if you will see the diagram, just below this V or Y shaped vessel, there occurs some cavity, you know, I will make it. Agar ye tere xylem ke cells hai pure, okay, if these are the cells, um, there will be some cells like this. Okay, uh, just, uh, you know, there will be some phloem cells too. And just below these xylem cells, there occurs some cavity. Kuch is tarah se. If you will see the complete diagram, you will get it. Okay, just see your reference here. There occurs some cavity. Now, what do you know? Recall. In case of dicot stem, there's something so called uh, resin canal or mucilage canal is chysogenous, which is formed by separation of cell. Hamisha other the cavity which is present below the V or Y shaped vessels, just beneath these xylem vessels or you know xylem vessel, there is one cavity that exists. This cavity is something which is schizo lysogenous. N C E R T example. NCERT liner, you have to remember this. It's something that comes in exam beta. The particular cavity, which is chysolysogenous in origin, is going to be your so called monocot stem key cavity. This cavity has no specific name. Hai. Okay, just we call it as water cavity. There's no specific name, right? What did I say? 
pith cavity. Pith cavity is also again a characteristic of ground tissue, not of V or Y shape. Don't get confused between pith, water cavity or resin canal lesions. In some may confuse nahi hona. Okay? So that is one thing. So what is chysoisogenous? Chysoisogenous I have told you, right? What is separation of cells? Lysogenous means lysis. वो पर्टिकुलर कैविटी डेट फॉर्म बाय लाइसेस ऑफ सेल बाय डिफ्यूजन ऑफ ऑफ सेल इस समथिंग व्हिच इस बाय कटिंग और डिवाइडिंग ऑफ सेल इस समथिंग व्हिच इस कॉल्ड एस लाइसेस तो डेट पर्टिकुलर कैविटी व्हिच इस फॉर्म बाय सेपरेशन ऑफ सेल स्काइजोजेनस एस वेल एस डिफ्यूजन ऑफ सेल लाइसोजेनस इस समथिंग व्हिच इस कॉल्ड एस वाटर कैविटी एंड इट्स अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ मोनोकॉट स्टेप यो याद रखना है तो मैं पक्का ये पक्का याद रखना है स्काइजोलाइजोजेनस इज अ कैविटी स्काइजोलाइजोजेनस वाटर कैविटी का ओरिजिन है इट इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर मोनोकॉट स्टेप सो दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दैट इज समथिंग सीरियसली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द लाइसिस कौन से सेल का होते हैं हमेशा रखना स्लाइसोजेनस मतलब लाइसिस ऑफ सेल विद सेल प्रोटोजाइलम सेल्स एनसीआरटी एग्जांपल अदर देन दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर फ्लोएम ओके हमेशा याद रखना फ्लो में मैंने यहाँ पे क्या बताया वेसल्स आर वेरी लेस इन नंबर अगर होंगे तो मेटाजाइलम में ज्यादा होंगे जेन प्रोटोजाइलम में होंगे हमेशा क्या हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे अगर मैं फ्लोएम की बात करूँ फ्लोएम में चार सेल्स होते हैं हम्म व्हाट आर द सेल्स कंपैनियन सेल्स सीव ट्यूब सेल्स फ्लोएम पैरेंटाइमा राइट हमेशा क्या हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे फ्लोएम पैरेंटाइमा इज गोइंग टू बी एब्सेंट फ्लोएम पैरेंटाइमा इज गोइंग टू बी एब्सेंट इन केस ऑफ मोनोकॉट स्टेम वेरस सीव ट्यूब सेल्स एंड कंपैनियन सेल्स विल बी प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ दिस बस यही है बच्चे जो तुम्हें बहुत इंपोर्टेंट है हाँ तो देखो कुछ नो डिफरेंस ओके बिटवीन मोनोकॉट रूट एंड मोनोकॉट स्टेम ओके सो मैंने मोनोकॉट स्टेम में क्या बताया था बस फ्लोर बंडल में भी सम टू टू फोर टेट्रा Poly arch condition. This condition is called as poly arch condition, and this poly arch condition is something which is a unique characteristic feature of monocot root. Other than this, when I tell you that monocot stem, the pith is inconspicuous or very developed or highly reduced. Always remember that vascular the pith in case of monocot root is highly developed. N C E R T line, N C E R T example, and you have to remember this. It is going to be highly the pith is going to be highly developed. That is something which is going to be very important. Then what did I tell you? Xylem, in case of monocot stem. Xylem and phloem, I told you, right? The xylem is something, the vascular abundance of xylem is something which is 2 to 4. Or sometimes, the xylem vessels will be in hexage or tetrap condition. Always remember that xylem vessels are something which will be over. हमेशा बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट हैं। These are the difference I'm giving you between monocot and mono root and monocot stem। नहीं तो monocot root is exactly similar to monocot stem। Okay, the xylem is something which is going to be you know oval in shape। The oval shaped xylem vessel is a characteristic feature of again monocot root। Defining feature of monocot root। ठीक है हमेशा याद रखना बच्चे monocot stem most of the time secondary growth नहीं जाते। Monocot root will not show secondary growth। the monocot root will not show any secondary growth. N C E R T example has highlighted this point, and you should know. Hamesha rakhna similar to monocot stem, the monocot root also have passive cells. This question be very important. Most of you miss this. It's given in N C E R T diagram. So please remember, mass passive cells are present again in monocot root. So it is something which is going to be really very very important. I mean, what was that? Something which was similar to endodermis. I was telling you, right? I told you there is something called as endodermis, right? Epiblema dies off. Then what happens? Now, when your epiblema dies off, there is no hypodermis, there is no cortex, and nothing well differentiated. What happens is, once your epiblema in case of monocot root dies off, the cortex becomes suberized, and that structure is called as exodermis. बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है बच्चे ये सब चीजें एक्सोडर्मिस क्या होता है इट इस समथिंग वंस योर एपिब्लमा इन केस ऑफ मोनोकॉट टू डाइज ऑफ योर सो कॉल एक्सोडर्मिस यू नो इट समथिंग दैट बिकम सुबेराइज एंड दैट इस समथिंग कॉल्ड एस एक्सोडर्मिस तो दैट इस सम वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट एक्सोडर्मिस इज यूज राइट बच्चे होप यू अंडरस्टूड डी पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स ठीक है उसके बाद जो लीव सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ है उसमें मैं अपने नेक्स्ट वीडियोस में डिस्कस करूँगा ठीक है होप यू फॉलो दें 
Thank you so much.